Exactly two months from today, Jim Inhofe will be enjoying his first full day of retirement after more than 50 years of public service, the last 28 of those in the U.S. Senate. All this week, Alex Cameron in our News on 6 Washington Bureau has been taking a look back at Senator Inhofe's career. Well, the legacy of Oklahoma's longest serving senator, as I've tried to show this week, is multi-layered and more complex than some might at first think. Ask him about it, though, and he's liable to say something like this. I'm out of here. I'm a has-been now, or will be in a few days. A wry sense of humor has helped Senator Inhofe, the once unflappable pilot, weather some headwinds these last few years, beginning with then-President Trump's ill-advised veto of the 2021 Defense Authorization Act. You can't uh, veto a defense authorization bill. I mean, that's, that's never been done and never should be done. Inhofe's principled stance on approving the certification of Joe Biden's win January 6th put him at odds with some Republicans and many constituents. And then more battles as a member back in the minority and with health issues. This COVID stuff, that which I got as uh, serious of cases as anyone I know. Still, as he now glances at the finish line, Inhofe considers the arc of his career and feels great pride. This has been an opportunity to do things I never thought that I'd be in a position to do. Most notably for Oklahomans, Inhofe ended Oklahoma's run as a donor state, making sure whether it was in highway funding or earmarked projects, the state got back as much as taxpayers put in. I know it's the right thing, even though it was not the popular thing. He helped protect Oklahoma's military bases, but more important, worked across the aisle to make sure America's military was adequately funded. We worked together. Inhofe, the diehard conservative and climate denier, will leave a legacy of compromise. We did a lot together. Honesty and human decency. And so that's uh, something that has worked and worked well. And the occasional good-natured dig. A lot of liberals are going to cringe when they hear me talk, talk like this. And, and, you know, that's their problem, not mine. Now it's tradition in the Senate for outgoing members to make a farewell speech on the Senate floor. Senator Inhofe is expected to make his November 16th the day before his 88th birthday. In our Washington Bureau, I'm Oklahoma's own Alex Cameron.